To all those who hear, let us gather to witness the folds of time. Can you see the golden woods of Doncast? Why does the first Toth kingdom stand yet without a king? Do you recognize the glistening beaches of holy water? Why do the forgetters purge memories for pleasure when all they get is pain? Can't you hear the screaming siblings? A planet and a realm both abandoned and forgot. Know now my proclamation. These are your savior's words. The God War has ended. Let there now be peace on Karth, or forever know my wrath. Welcome, hardy adventurers, my sweet heroes, to another week of Dungeon Ball Z. The show, Tragic Parties. The heroes, these sexy faces and voices. Woo! Yeah, woo! <laughs> Welcome everybody. We're just gonna jump right back into it. We ended with um, from the tunnel to the north, the biggest entrance out, and seemingly the way that you're supposed to go, a shadow toth, um, basically an elf with dark purple skin, um, shadowy like eyes, came running forward, decked out with curly shoes. A royal, a royal garb and getup of just uh, very fanciful clothing, like coat, doublet, um, three different gold chains going from pockets to pockets across, a big old top hat. He came running out. The, you have learned his name is Noth, and he is trying to lead you. Uh, we were walking into the bar, which he is trying. He has told you this is the beginning of Trek Fantastic and your wonderful track, literally, you are on track to get into the city of Shimmermore. Before, we, before we went in, um, did could we have peeked anything? Like, I assume because the brain got sent through, that it we'd got be able crashed to- crashed through the window, yeah. Yeah, so could we see anything before walking in there? Um, from your vantage point, you, Staring into the Golden Quartz Tavern, you hear a little bit of raucous, some noise coming from there. Um, somebody chanting, singing some to themselves. You hear like a sloshing sound and a sh -sh 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 -sh. You hear some of these sounds and then inside your eyes trying to adjust to see into a dimly lit space versus being outside in bright light. Um, mm -hmm. It's a uh, flickering lamps, basically, right? Like you got these tungsten soft oranges happening inside. And from the angle that you're at, you can catch a little brain person about the size of a football with arms and legs, no face, but it's like a brain standing. This is what came through the window too, in a tuxedo, crawling up onto a bar and then crawling up onto a little ladder as it l runs across the bar, it leaps onto a ladder that goes across the back of a bar and it stops itself, grabs a bottle and then shoves itself back and runs out of view. Hmm. Okay. All right, I, I saw all that. As Noth is kind of shifting, Hollander has left your purview, right? He has disappeared. He's uh, right now he is walking his way back into the apartments which he came from across um, from across the whole the across the whole Grand Central Markets, right? Y'all are on if the back of the train, very, very back of the train, which you have kind of sussed out because of Jax, is the south, and where you need to go is north. You are now on the west side, and Hollander is leaving through the right, through the east side buildings. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. And Noth, <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, everybody, hello, um, please, if you would, I know that this is just a little bit 
out there. It's a little bit different of how we're supposed to do stuff, but somebody has clearly messed up. And Noth is kind of like bowing, hand gesturing overly, just like uh, he's a very performance-based person apparently. And um, Noth just bows a little and is, okay, my sweet, my sweet little royals, here you are and here I am. And we are going to, we're just, hopefully, if I'm being honest, I'm I'm supposed to be heading out the I head the next area and Graina has messed up this one. So uh, we're gonna take a peep in this bar real quick and I have no idea what's going on. But you're supposed to have like a whole welcome to track fantastic going on here, and it seems to not be happening, and that is not good. <laughs> so let's uh come on, come on, after you, come on. And we, mm. you know, to the bar. As you enter the bar. I would like your marching order and everybody to roll initiative. I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> just <laughs> joking. I'm just joking. I'm there. <laughs> you, oh, I got my dice. <laughs> uh -huh. um, um, we can we can talk to him as we're going in, right? Sure. Yeah, he's All opening right, cool. the door. Uh, we appreciate your hostility, but we must go north. Ha uh, I'm not hostility. <laughs> I'm be, I am trying to be I'm, as I'm sorry. Hospita Hosp hospitality. Hospitality. Yes. Excuse me. Um, what do you mean you're trying to go? You're, you're trying to go north? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> you're here. Forward and on this train. Uh, oh. We, we would like to go where you came from. You will. We just have to do the introduction part first. That's all. It's. We'll get I there. Just, I just go. I, I just go like this. Just come on, come on, come on. To the bar. To the bar. Get inside. I don't know if I'm old enough to go inside this place. We already did this last episode. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, we talked about milk. Do you remember that? Kelp? <laughs> and, like, we going did. in and uh, stuff. And... I don't know if I've ever had that. Is it tasty? Does it taste like this? He holds up a piper. <clears throat> um, it, uh, kelp? No, kelp does not taste huh. like those things. You should have this. Were... And I just kind of force of personality it into his hand and walk inside. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> and he just kind of oh, this is where, where did you where did you get this? As he follows you inside, <laughs> <laughs> walking in, welcome to the Golden Court Tavern. You see a wide open bar area with uh, wooden tables strewn across the floor. It's been kind of messed up, like a bar brawl that never got fixed. There are booths all along. Um, but this place very specifically has one table in the center of the room and a sleeping about four foot five stocky woman with thick um, like plated armor that folds on itself is just passed out at the table. Um, next to her are tankards, shot glasses, and two other creatures, both of them green scaled and with spikes on their backs, they are kind of hunched over forward and they have one gigantic eye where their forehead would be and then a monstrous like uh, toothy jaw. Um, and they're both sitting next to her and both of them are still up, but they're a little sloshy. Like they're just kind of like, elbowing each other as they keep pouring from another tankard. At the actual bar, two little brain creatures, for lack of a better phrase, in suits, each of them, little tuxedos with little bow ties, are running across the bar, jumping back and forth as they are just making drinks endlessly. Like one of them jumps onto the back, like I said before, and then uh, takes off a bottle. And then they are just jumping uh, onto the bar together, uh, right in the middle. And then one of them has a shaker. One of them has a mixer. They're just pouring different concoctions, closing it up and then, and then shaking back and forth as they're just pouring out drinks constantly. They, the only noises that they make are like, and they're like sloshing, like the sounds of like wet meat slapping each other as they're moving around and as you all come in, come in, come in, come in. Okay, uh, Graina, we have, oh, um, <laughs> Graina, Graina. And he like walks over to the table and nudges the 
passed out, uh, honestly, dwarven lady. He just nudges her. He's like, Ugh, uh, all right. I, <laughs> this, I can see where we all got a little <laughs> messed up. <laughs> um, Is she okay? Sh um, well, Dyke. child, sometimes <gasps> You when... can call me Jax. That's my name. Okay, child Jax. Sometimes no. when... Just, ja just Jax. Okay, J Jax. Sweet, oh, grand royal Jax. I don't know about the whole grand royal part, but Jax has been my designation since I woke. I've never heard of that specific kingdom, um, that crown hold system, but oh, sweet, de wonderful designated Jax. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it is an honor to meet you. She is what adults call blackout drunk, it seems. So if you drink too much alcohol, this is what happens. And he kind of nudges her and she just... And she is passed out, just a little drool. And he also nudges the... Eenie, Steven, what, it, what, it, what happened here? And then the two big-eyed, one-eyed monsters... Uh, the first one leans forward, the tinier, skinnier one, about five foot two. He has a little sailor bow tie, a sailor uniform, and a cute sailor hat on top of his head. And he leans forward. Oh, I'm Eeny, and that is Steven. Yes, I'm Steven. And the other one leans forward and has a similar sailor outfit on, but is much, much bigger. And he lumbers forward. I'm Steven. Eeny got wasty. <laughs> Steven got wasty. <laughs> Greatest idea. And Noth just, I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of at a loss. I've never had to do this, but um, just show them the train. Show them, show them the whole thing. And the brains stop and they begin to dance in a little line across the bar. Kind of like the fusion dance, but they're <laughs> drawing with their fingers. And as they're drawing, a little map of the train etches out above them in like this purple ethereal dust. And you see big scrawling letters, track, fantastic. And Noth looks up at it and is like, Honestly, this whole thing just feels like a little bit ruined, <laughs> does it not? <laughs> like, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that your first your first day on the train is this. Um, a Dane will be. He'll. I'll. I'll tell a Dane, and I, I, I'm. I'm real sorry. We'll, we'll. We'll figure it out. We'll just get you to the next area, and then um, you. You all have fun in my circus, and I'll give you that whole spiel, my whole spiel at the very least, and then. Um, and you'll still get your food, and Shimmermore's definitely coming, but I apologize. This this is on them. This is bad. What's a circus? That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard of one. One sec. Make a history check. Okay. I rolled a one, so that's, a, that's an eight. You think in your memory banks, there may have been a circus somewhere. There's a circus. Something's a circus, but the flashing lights and the dancing brains with this little image over of them, right? Like, mm. it just kind of distracts you. Mm. Mm. Wow. They're pretty cool. Uh, it's, it's no worries. We'll, uh, we'll just hang out here for, for a while. Do you mind if we go take a walk around, check out the rest of the train? We're kind of honestly, well, it's not that big of a deal. We were just kind of like exploring. Oh, well, that's, um, that's a... That's a, I, um, I don't really have an answer for, huh. I pay good money to be on this train. So, um, That's true. Yeah, So I don't correct. see what the problem would be with any of your superiors about us exploring the train that we paid money to be on. Well, if you were to go explore, you would just literally be going where I would be give, sending you. Because it's the only way forward. That's how trains work. You got to go forward. I mean, yeah. you could explore through back here, but there's not much here. Mm. This is all that's on this giant train? Yeah, it's us. And then most people have moved out of this area from what I've seen, and they all live forward. I'm going to walk over to the bar where the brains are dancing. Okay. 
I need a water. And they just both stop dancing and they just stand and they turn to you by shifting, jumping and shifting their whole little bodies, squishing. And then one of them disappears behind the bar. And then you hear like, like they get the spigot out. (laughs) You see their little hands reach up, get a little glass, jumps back up, reaches it up to the other brain and it hands it to you. Take it. I'll just drink some water. Sit in yeah. the bar for a second. Jax kind of walks over to where Drena and these uh, other, Eni and Steven, you said, are. Yeah. And he's kind of just like sussing them up and down, looking at yeah. them, seeing what's yeah. going on. Yeah. Uh, St- Eni, uh, Eni's still sitting there. Steven's on the ground. Drena mm-hmm. is passed out. Hi. Piper? Okay. They're good. They're real good. I like them a lot. And he grabs it and he just starts eating it. Oh. And he just like his big old mouth, this like one foot sl- like slithering tongue just <laughs> through it and he just like starts down and he's like Rrr. Um as that happens, he just kinda like <laughs> and he kinda sits back and Ooh Oh Oh my head Oh Ow Oh Oh Oh, and his big old eyes staring at you. It's at this point, Noth is going to turn around and like he's going to head to the door and be like, okay, um, the festivities, I think they should begin. I think we should just do it, right? Everybody? Sure. Big old nobles? Mm-hmm. I take the time to finish right the up. entirety of my water. Yes. Take a breath, drop it down, and then walk outside. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to follow my friend's Mr. Noth, see ya. Yeah, um, Noth is walking outside with you. You leave Eni just holding this glass vial. Um, you saw in his eye um, a lot of the sloshiness that had happened seems to have like faded Jax as you were standing there. And mm-hmm. like his eye like was super dilated. And as he ate it, um, they just kind of focused like a little bit more clear. Is there a way to determine if that was a discernible magical effect? Uh, make a, an intelligence check flat for me. I also rolled a one, so that's a four. Oh boy. Doing great. As you get outside, he will turn towards the tunnel and start. Uh, he'll start backing up and be like, okay, so, um, you know, you are nobles. You can do. What you need to, I'm gonna go get stuff heated up and ready uh, for you uh, <laughs> in the grand festivities area. Um, so when you're there, get ready for the carnival, get ready for the circus. You know, um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not rushing you, but uh, I, I, I'm gonna get it going. So uh, y'all, uh, y'all can just come on through, just head down the tunnel. You'll be right there. Uh, I, I, I gotta go start it up. Y- y- you kind of caught me <laughs> with, the, with the whole, I didn't know there was a stop thing. So, okay, I, I'll, I'll see you there. And he just turns off and like starts running towards the tunnel and disappears into it. Mm. What an interesting fellow. Let's get out of here before he comes back. Why? He well, said there was a fest- carnival and festivals and circus. It sounds like fun. No, but I want to. Um, Sarah told us that we got to save the world, and then there was that guy that told us we got to follow the thing that Dream has. I think True. he may be ahead with us. I'm I'm sure we'll run into him again, but we must go this way. Okay. Yeah, holding up the object that is leading you to where you're supposed to be going. If you were to focus on it right now, Dream, it will be pointing the exact way that he just ran that t- that big old tunnel. It's like a 20 foot tunnel. It is surrounded by black metal walls on each side. And it is the way, uh, the looking around there's shops behind you, right? And there are apartments above you. Um, but as far as going deeper into whatever this train area is, it does seem to be through that tunnel. I just kind of remember from because I, I I didn't focus in on it before we went into the bar. I know I focused yeah. on it. So yeah, I'm just going off of that. Uh, I I believe that we're gonna see him again. I think um, if anything, someone distract him, and we'll still move on. But I don't know. Yeah. I I think he just he just wants to do his job maybe. 
Mm. Onward. I don't know. Right? Wait. What? You will not find something strange about this place. Hmm. How so? From what we've seen so far. I don't know what strange really means. So, no? What stories, is Stories. The stories I've heard of the city trains are big, booming, masses of people. Yet we've seen almost no one here. Well, he said, well, he said everyone is like, you know, further down the train. Pepin, what did you see when you flew up? Uh, it was empty. I mean, it's like dust everywhere and it's lived in, just not in a while. Hmm. And Jax. Hmm. Where did you say we were? Uh, track Majestic. Does that not seem strange to any of you? He does. Yeah, they, I suppose. He just kept saying track fantastic for some weird reason. I don't know why, though. I just think we should keep our guards up. Something seems very wrong here. Okay. Mmm, so sneaky time? Perhaps. But if we uh, have to go down the tunnel, then we should go. All right. Hmm. Let's go. Yeah, okay, mm-hmm. as you make your way into the tunnel, you're walking You're I'll walking forward. fly above everyone and keep a bird's eye view. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, you have enough room in the tunnel to do that too because the tunnel is like 20 feet, 30 feet. Like it's, it's a wide, wide arc. Uh, flying forward, walking forward. From 40 feet out, as you walk up to it, a purple shimmering mist seems to be permeating from the tunnel, right? You saw this before when Noth came out of it originally, but as you make your way into it, um, uh, you're walking up to it, and as you're, nothing happens to your skin, nothing changes, you don't feel any changes, mm-hmm. but like there's just like, like almost like a shifting of uh, positions, right? Like you are going from one place to another as you step into the tunnel. Hmm. Everybody make a perception check. 21. Good lord. Nine. 16. Nine. 16, nine, nine. So my nines, uh, as the party is walking forward, um, and we, you know, y'all can stop me at any point if you want to do anything, you step into the tunnel, and the first thing all of you see is it looks like walking through an aquarium tunnel where like you're looking up into the sea almost, but all you see is just this purple shimmering dark cloud around you. And the floor is like mist that you're stepping through of this purple, just a very thin layer. My nines, as you're walking through, it is the equivalent of all you see. You see like this dark purple above you. You can see a little bit of the concrete of whatever the tunnel was before, like uh, as the, you see a little of the concrete as you step and the mist parts around your foot on what you're walking on. But above you, the walls themselves, like whatever else this tunnel structure is, you saw from the outside, it's clearly something like it is a made structure, but from the inside, it's just this beautiful purple cloud. Is there like, Um, am I close enough that I can like touch the ceiling? Yeah, you can go up there and touch. Mm -hmm. And as you float up, and you touch and your hand goes through, um, the van off to the side, you start to feel, cause you got a 16, you start to feel like, huh, I think there's something on the other side of this like purple visage. And Jax staring above, you see Heppen uh, just kind of put, put a finger through. So, mm. I don't know why that felt like such a weird sentence to say. <laughs> you just poke a little finger through. Mm-hmm. Jax, you're looking up and you can see very clearly that this is some sort of um, held space and that there are there is a structure beyond it. Uh, as you touch the ceiling of the of the tunnel, 
the mist parts a little bit around your finger and you like, maybe you like swirl it around to see more and more mm-hmm. and it just looks like this intricate beautiful with um engraved uh light sconces drop dropping off everything is very very regally made intricately made um you're seeing this like uh intricately woven steel folding over steel tunnel that is being somewhat um hidden by this mist Hmm. and Jax as you're looking you start kind of peering around and you can see the walls have tapestries on them they Hmm. seem to have um pictures on them like huge depictions of people from I guess who are on track majestic like start to look at the names and stuff Hmm. these grand paintings of them Mm-hmm. Is there like space in between the mist and the like actual ceiling, or is it like right no. against it? It's right against it. Yeah, okay. it's more like fog is like like yeah. a thick like like it's barely an inch off. It seems to be just okay. right over it. Yeah. Interesting. Can I take some time to like study the pictures? Yeah, you can look at them um, one mm-hmm. after another. One of the the first picture, and y'all see Jacks stop right mm-hmm. and look over. And in the tunnel, um, Jack stops up and points at it, and um, mm-hmm. can like, we see? Can we see what he's pointing at? Um, as you walk, if y'all want to try and go investigate a little bit more, yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I'll walk y'all, over. I'll walk over. Yeah, as you walk over, the closer you get, um, you may have to like put your hands up and like mess with the mist to get like a clear picture. It's almost like billowing smoke. That as you wipe away, it just kind of opens and then like, like closes. Can I like go over and like flap my wings? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, That's really exactly hard? what you do. Yeah. yeah. You mm-hmm. go over there, and as you're all just kind of standing, and you start flapping your wings and your little head wings, are, <laughs> and the mist just parts enough for you to uh, see this picture of you see a picture of two creatures, and on the bottom it says uh, "Creators of Track Majestic." And uh, it says created, basically these two creatures are standing on a platform and behind them is the, is Track Majestic itself. And it's like very first iteration. And it said, create you know, um, creators overlooking their majesty. Uh, and it says year 1P8S6T, which is, um, I don't know, it's, I actually only know this in, in Carthiers, one pile eight, uh, span six tad of of what year it is. I think that's roughly like the year two hundred forty eight. Whatever. And um, the two creatures are uh, one of them is a um, deep orange skinned, about five foot two, pupilless glacier looking eyes with brownish triple pigtails and an immaculate beard with two sharp bottom tusks pointing up like an orc basically, is a soul proud barum and it says Spark, Trin, Othok, and Seek, Rillandyr. Um, and the other creature, Seek, Rillandyr, is this bluish spirit creature. There's just a forming cloud basically that has a wooden faceplate and yellow eyes. And these are two normal creatures of Karth, but Can these I seem to be the creators. Can I sketchbook and-, and do like a quick... Just face yeah, sketch of yeah. all of them. Yeah, you start it's, just kind of. It says majestic on there, right? It does say majestic. All right, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna just walk and place a finger to where it says that. Yeah. Majestic. I've heard them say a different name, have I not? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. They have been changing the name of the train. Mm. Very odd. I don't know why they would cover up the history of this place. There's a lot here, and it matters to a lot of people. And what of this fog? What is this? And as you say that, you do have to keep going. Like, the second you stop pushing against it with any amount of force, it just uh, coalesces back. There do seem to be, like, a line also Mm -hmm. of tapestries going down like y'all are at the beginning of the hallway mm-hmm. uh, it, it goes all the way down can we Could can I, we gauge how like far we still have to go in the tunnel 
150 feet, 200 feet. Like it is a long ass tunnel. Is that long? Can I make? <laughs> yeah. I Can I long. make um, an Arcana check or something about the mist? Sure. Make an Arcana check. What are you trying to gleam? Uh, base magical essence. Okay. Uh, twenty-two. A twenty-two. As you're kind of looking at it a little bit, um, kind of like poking and prodding at it, seeing yeah. how it moves. Like, like at one point, Jax tries to take like a handful of it, you know, mm -hmm. like, and see how it moves. It, and acts. It's like scooping at wind almost. It just kind of keeps sucking itself back in to cover up the wall in front of you. As you're starting to gleam a little bit, whatever this is. Um, you can't really tell like what what it is, what spell cast or anything, but you're starting to, like I think this is obviously used to not show the things on the wall. Mm hmm It's mm -hmm. to hide it. Can I make a history check about the two people depicted in yeah. this mural? Absolutely. Yeah. Actually, you don't even have to do that because the last history check that you made when you were thinking about track majestic, when you first like spouted off a bunch of stuff about it and like realized where you were. These were the two names, like created by these two creatures mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. in the day when Track Majestic was created. Like these are the two, um, two incredible engineers and craftsmen that live on the on the planet of Karth that are legends. They originally took um, Track Heavenlock and they uh, repurposed a new engine for themselves that they had discovered and made a smaller train, but was more self-sustained in Track Majestic. Mm. Um, the other thing that you know is from, from that old history check is like there is a royal game that happens on the planet of Karth. Everyone has kind of heard about this a little bit. Dareem, I don't think you have, but if you've had any sort of history class yeah. and your character can decide if they have or not, Van definitely has, especially living north of Shimmerhold. If you want to become one of the most renowned creatures on the planet, you can hop from city to city to city as you keep getting invited essentially up the ladder. It starts in the bottom right of the map near Peaceforth, right? You get invited to Peaceforth, then you get invited to this city, then you get invited to um, the Golden Woods, and then you may get an invite to one of the two uh, high trains, Track Majestic or Track Heavenlock, so that you may eventually after living your whole life there and like, or however long it takes, as you do your good works, you can get to Shimmermore. Shimmermore is the capital city of the planet of Karth. Everything goes through, all decisions go through Shimmermore and the seat of the God King uh, in Rapture. Like, like this train itself, uh, definitely Jax would know hosted a million people, 700,000 people that were living on this train, working and doing, living their lives um, in hopes to move up the train and get their way to Shimmermore. Mm. And uh, moving you along just a little bit as you're, as you're walking, I would assume that you start like other tapestries, just like walking through the tunnel, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As you're walking forward, um, still using Heppen's wings to kind of open it, Jax too, and y'all just could start fanning. You start seeing this story of the creation of Track Majestic from the beginning of it uh, with those pictures. Then you start seeing um, Spark Tren Othok became the first fuel of the train. Fuel is the word, a lot of Karth cities and places for their royals, right? They have a different word that's not king or um, that's not always like that, right? Fuel is the person who is kind of tasked as the mayor of the whole place, the governor of the whole place, right? Mm -hmm. So you uh, then you start getting into pictures of the first fuel. Um, and as you make your way all the way down the tunnel, obviously, if you want to fill in any more blanks, you got any more questions, feel free to ask. You would eventually find your way to the last fuel was named Fuel Sanith, S-A-N-N-I-T-H. Mm -hmm. F-U-E-L, Sanith Olivar. He was the duke, essentially, uh, a male halfling uh, with an iron crown on his head. Is he was next to He is that a date? Is there a date anywhere? Like, do we know? Um, the date is hundreds of years past the beginning. Like, the track majestic has been up for a long time. Mm -hmm. Like, I guess I'm just trying to gauge if they should be the current fuel. It is the last picture. 
Uh-huh. So it would be the your best guess would they should be the current fuel. Mm-hmm. So um, compared to when he's crowned, what is the current date? Oh, that would be about a 62 year difference, I think. Gotcha. From like fuel Sanith, right? Like mm-hmm. instilled here, right? Like the first yeah. day of the fuel. Gotcha. Um, mm. But fuel Sanith is a male halfling with like um, spiky brown hair and he has this like iron just band kind of in a crown around his head mm. depicted against a um, just standing honestly on top of the train uh, in there's a section at the very front where like there's an observation deck that's like lavish and beautiful huge he stands there um, on a like basically like on an iron throne that um, has like a dais around it and stuff and that's like him standing there of like I'm here I did it I'm the mm. fuel now um, as we as, we, as we've been moving along, I think I gradually um, just kind of make my way to the front of the marching order, just over time. And okay. somewhere along the line, I have removed the skull mask from my satchel and put it back on my face. Yeah, game time. Jax is kind of after kind of looking, walking down this hallway, seeing the the history of this place and how it's being shrouded by this purple mist. You just kind of see this. He just doesn't look like he's okay. He looks mm-hmm. like he's thinking real hard about something. There's kind of like the edge of, his frown, edge of a frown on his face uh, as, as you're kind of just walking along, kind of looking down at his feet. Uh, while we're walking. Jax, you all right? Hmm? Hmm. It's an interesting question. So while I I recognize myself as physically fine, I find that I have, I am experiencing a, I don't know, something new, something like disappointment. But even then, I'm not sure I can quantify what disappointment feels like. Don't worry, we'll we'll figure out the origin of this place. I'm not really sure that's the problem though. It's more like why try to hide this wonderful history, you know? Why try to cover it up? What are they hiding? I was thinking something similar, Jax, truly. But at this point, I think moving forward's the best we can do. Hmm. What's he- what is Hep doing right now? Hep's just flying along? Mm-hmm. Up at the- I'll look towards the ceiling. Can I keep an eye out for any, like, Secret passageways or... Absolutely. Go ahead and make a... Um, do you want to touch stuff for it or do you want to just look for it? Both. Um, you're making one check, so perception or investigation. Um, Whatever is more, right? Um, let's do perception. What dice am I going to use? A great, great question. Uh, let's do this one. Can I give her what guidance you... before she does that? Did you I haven't see gotten her doing all one this? One good roll, and my character is supposed <laughs> to be lucky. <laughs> I guess if she's like in front uh, of me. Six total. Um, yeah, too late now. So. Too late, but next time. <laughs> um, yeah. As a six, even even with a six, you're starting. You the the sense that you get flying around and trying to uncover. It's really annoying, even with your wings, because like you have to like really concentrate on that space to keep it open, right? Um, this does seem to be a pretty closed off tunnel. And from the space of like, you've been on ships before, like if this is a connecting part of a giant part of a ship to another part of a ship, then this thing may not have any passageways necessarily. Like there doesn't seem to be any secrets that you can find. You do see some really beautiful tapestries on the other wall the adjacent wall Mm -hmm. that are like just uh, if you were walking through a Victorian era house just beautiful paintings say arts and culture lining the walls for sure nothing um, everything's like nailed to the wall and like you know in the tapestry but no none of the pictures seem to move they're just like it's like walking through a grand entrance almost um, can I pull on the sconces? 
Yeah, yeah, you start pulling on all this, <laughs> you all see Hev's flying around, starts like just kind of yanking on stuff and pushing stuff. And uh, if you're looking for something secret to open, nothing has happened yet. Okay. From the end of the tunnel at this point, you have walked 10, 50, 60, 70 feet kind of talking. You hear a swell of music start to rise as in front of you, the exit and the entrance to this next place, the purple glow that just kind of ends it starts um, going from a really deep purple to a really light purple as light starts to come up and this music starts to swell. Something's happening ahead. You all hear that? Yeah. Yes, it's very disturbing. <laughs> Sounds like a party. Interesting choice of sound that they make. Like it could be fun. I guess let's let's do it then. Yeah, right. you walk through, you pass through the veil, and you enter into the world lights up around you. In front of you, Noth stands now with two bracelets, his sleeves rolled up, two bracelets on his uh, on one on each wrist that are shimmering purple, a uh, choker that is purple, and his boot like uh, his pant legs are rolled up and he has two similar bracelets on his ankles. So wrist, wrist, ankle, ankle, neck. He, raise, he raises his hands as the music swells around him and the world, the vi- like a, a literal vision of the world comes into view as the purple mist all around you. You just stepped out into this purple misty nothing almost. And he says, welcome all ye grand royals. You who seek Shimmermore. You, who are nobler than all. You are our guests of guests, handpicked for your power, your renown. Go, be free. The world will be yours soon enough. The shimmering city awaits. And he flourishes as he speaks. He flicks his hands up and he reveals all around him a carnival flashing in lights. Off in the distance, a Ferris wheel spins, happy screams accompanying the twirling rides around it. Before you stands a grand carnival carved into the surrounding buildings, all abandoned, built out in tents and games. Sweets and smells gather at your nostrils and sensory receptors for my robot people. Music plays in the background, swelling as Noth rises up off of the ground into the air, his coattails swirling behind him. To your left, a grouping of tents, welcoming you. Wow, I can't read anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we... To your left, a grouping of tents, welcoming you with the flashing lights and the promise of prizes. To your right, a common area filled with food stands and places to redeem your tickets won. In front of you, in the center of this large, large area, a coliseum stands ready for the willing. Finally, above, as you look into the sky, cresting over these hollowed out buildings all around you that surround your area, you realize that you can't see any clouds. The sky is blurred out almost, as if your eyes can't focus on it. And you realize a glass dome surrounds this entire uh, carnival, shimmering just a very faint, deep purple energy. In the dome, five distant gigantic orbs are set each equidistant from each other, surrounding some hundreds of feet off into the air. Um, And yeah, you are in a walking, not walking, you are in a working, happening festival. Noth just gets back onto the ground. There are games, prizes, things most wondrous. This is your journey, so make of it what you will. I fucking nailed that, see? (laughs) That's what I'm talking about. Grena was supposed to do her whole thing when you get on the train. I don't even know when we stopped, but here we are, and this is my area. You're here. Have fun. You do not look excited. What's wrong? Are there, do we see people? Are there any other people here? You can hear people. You can hear crowds going. You can hear games, boop, 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 shh, yeah, off in the distance. But as you look around, you don't see anyone outside of at each area, there seems to be a creature smiling 
and waving towards you. Mm-hmm. Just whoever's working there. But Noth mm-hmm. st- lands and is like, okay, well, <laughs> I don't know why you're not excited. I thought this is kind of what you wanted, but uh, I'm going to let y'all have at it. You could do enjoy yourself there's there's a whole prize over to my left or over to my right your left there's a whole prize area you can play games win incre- and i mean magical incredible stuff there's there's a lot of great stuff here you can also uh, check out the rides get a, gr- a great view of the surrounding area i mean you, you can do all this stuff what do you you can go fight in the coliseum whatever you want okay y'all good cool uh um... y'all good I'm gonna mm-hmm. dip for a moment. Right. If that's cool, do y'all need me? Um, you know, you keep asking about Grana. Where yeah. is she? Grana was sorry if I didn't make that clear. Grana was the passed out drunk dwarf lady at the table in the bar. Okay, dope. Yeah, he specifically was like, God, like when he walked in, was mm-hmm. like, damn it, Grana. He sa- he says that. Oh, she was drunk at she was drunk at the bar. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't make that clear. She was, yeah, she was just passed out. I I don't even know like how. how that's actually a great question. Um, sweet, flying Thayer from the Trindom, and he bows his head low. Um, didn't she let you on the train? Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. I don't pay attention to a lot of things. Had a little bit too much peanut butter, if you know what I mean. I don't actually. You've never What's tried peanut, peanut butter? butter before. Are I have, you ready I don't to take it the ride of your life, sir? I'll I'm, uh, make a persuasion check. Do you, <laughs> are you really trying? Are you trying to persuade him? Yeah, I want to get. In. <laughs> my uh, uh, on the sidebar, my butter. ears also peak or like perk up at the. At peanut the word of peanut butter. Like, you peanut know butter. what peanut butter yeah, is. Yeah, I know uh, what peanut butter That's something like peanut butter. I, got, I rolled a 19 plus 6. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's trying some peanut butter today. For all our listeners out there, in one of our pre-calls, um, there is no like peanuts in the world of Karth, and Earth items do weird stuff in Karth because they're magical syst- uh, sibling worlds. And we decided that instead of smoking weed, Hep just like licks some peanut butter and it gets them like high. <laughs> like, what? Like, is there a sativa oh thing with it? Like, <laughs> just a little, has this weird high effect. You yeah, know? it just it's does. Hybrid it peanut butter. Kind of changes each time. It depends on your mood. <laughs> yeah, sure. So Hepin has decided to offer and not. Not that it's like, do you, so a, a ride. It has a, a ride. A, a ride? Like yeah, a, in your mind, like a, man. A mind ride. You know, you I'm kind of down. I gotta it. be honest, I'm kind of down. Hey, yeah, Grain is, Grain is yeah. your boss, right? Yeah. They're passed out. Oh, no, no, no. No, we're, we're Eves. We're Evens. Oh, yeah. Boss, well, who else no. is going to no. get mad at you then? If you're even, the other even. Dane is probably going to get kind of mad at me. He's probably going to get, you're right, though. Yeah, Dane's, um, mm, I kind of, you know what? I would, yeah, give me, let me, yeah, what is it? I don't know what this is. I'm in. <laughs> So I'll like I'll take out my I'll take out my jar like I'll turn around so like no one can see me or like fly yeah. really high up so no one can see where I hide it and I'll yeah. like take it out and I'll just yeah. put like the smallest amount of on my pinky finger and I'll yeah. go back down and I'll be like <laughs> you're gonna let him lick it off your pinky finger no I'll, uh, I'll put it on for the sake of COVID times. <laughs> <laughs> If this was pre-COVID, he, I probably would have been like, hell he yeah. Just, <laughs> he just does the, he just, he scoops it off. He like yeah. s- scrapes it off and just is like, do I gum it? Do I like, However you want to enjoy it, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jax is kind of just like walked up in between them, kind of looking up at them as they're <laughs> yeah. just doing this. It's like, yeah. what's this? This is fascinating. Can't um, have it until um, you're at least wh- 21. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> All right. And he... He just sucks it down and is like, um, okay, um, well, I, I guess we'll see what we see. <laughs> you, you get, I like you. I do like you. What was your name? I like you. Hep. Hep. Sweet. Mm. Hep. Hep. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not. I don't know if I, mm. I think I said that. Nice and, to meet uh, you. said oh, that a lot. Oh, hey. There's a boy down there. <laughs> this nah. thing hits kind of quick, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh. No. Nah. Oh. I'll, I'll like grab him. I'll like take his okay, arm, grandpa. and I'll like just go walk over to a nice bench, like maybe by like the 
like cotton candy or like some snacks and just be like, yeah. pop a squat here. You'll have a great time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he kind of just sits down and he's like, wow, this area looks pretty cool. I'll wow, grab I like the cotton candy here. and I'll give it to him and be like, enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. He, he holds it. And Dream, you were saying something uh, to him also? Uh, I guess I just walk over to him and I just say, if we need to call you to us, what should we do? Oh, Talk to one of my workers. They'll get the word. There's people throughout the whole festival. You'll, you, you'll be able to find me. I'll be back. I'll be back. I just got to take care of something real quick. Ooh, right. you look real nice. And he just kind of looks at you like, I didn't, Um, I was flustered before, but what are you? I just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I turn my back. I just right. walk away. From. Right. Is he, and he looks up at you, Hep. Is he made of metal? Think so. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. Huh. I mean, are you and really surprised kinda... you see robot animals running around yeah, all the but time? Not, yeah, but they go like, ah! You know, they're just annoying things <laughs> that a Hollander's made. That's a, that, this is a, that's like a creature. That's a person. That's a whole person. Noth just kind of stands up and is like, okay, huh. I'll be, um, y'all have fun. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to talk to Dane real quick. Huh. And he just kind of walks off. Um, question. Yeah. I guess I want to look at the artifact, but I don't, like, I, I guess I want to, like, look around to see if anyone is, like, staring at us like can I I don't know like can I do it in a stealthy way or do I feel that there's like people watching me you, you, do you get what I mean yeah um make a perception check um can I also try to pickpocket him while I'm um while he turns around and leaves <laughs> yeah because uh, I seven check. on that perception <laughs> okay seven <laughs> Never, it's only when I want to cause chaos that I roll <laughs> high numbers. <laughs> My favorite. No, because I rolled horrible. Uh, it's a oh. seven. A seven. Mm. Um, he is listful and lithe as he's walking away, and you go to, like, snag at his pocket, and he just, like, kind of like, whoop, nah. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. <laughs> I get it. And he just he walks off. <laughs> Okay. Jax is just kind of like, why are these guys so okay with being stolen from? <laughs> <laughs> That's two for two. Mm -hmm. Dareem, as you're standing there and like, is anyone watching me? There is no one in your immediate vicinity. Standing next to that golden gate about halfway up the map, uh, right before the area of tents, which is the game section, um, there does seem to be someone smiling and off in the distance just kind of waving at you. And you hear uh, you hear all these crowd noises as like the rides in the backgrounds are going currently. You see the Ferris wheel spinning and the there's a merry-go-round that's spinning. And do you know those, the you sit in the, the swings and it spins you around, right? As you mm -hmm. like, and one of those yeah, is, yeah. is here also. I love those. You, it doesn't seem like anyone's like looking at you if, if you're trying to focus on it. Okay, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, I'll, I'll focus on it. Okay, yeah, 12 seconds. You also realize, so let's try this one different, right? Where you like have it down by your hand, by your, by your, uh, by your side. You're not like listening, listening to it. Yeah. Mechanically, you've realized that you just have to focus on the object and it, le and it points, right? So it does point forward from your side. Your elbow bends upwards as 12 seconds go by as you focus on it and it points north. Past the prize section and uh, uh, just the far right of the prize section, essentially. There seems to be, this is tent. also where Noth walked off. Okay. The tunnel behind you is on the left side of the map and the tunnel ahead, which is right. where the, the artifact is pointing, is over there. Just straight for, okay, yeah. cool. Like right through the Coliseum. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll, I'll turn back to the party um, and say, the artifact is leading straight that way. Um, do you guys want to? And that's where enjoy we're going. Enjoy 
walking oh. forward mm-hmm. and walking in the, I'm I'm walking in that direction. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. Why oh we all Jack's kinda like uh walks up behind just kinda like, but we could check out this stuff too. I don't know, we're here. It looks like those games look like a lot of fun. I'm gonna put a hand on Jax's shoulder. Be wary, young Jax. Something is wrong here. Keep your head about you. I will go with him. Just give us a second. <gasps> you wanna go play games? Uh, I'll, I'll follow Jax to wherever he goes for the games or, or whatnot. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So okay, they, they they broke off. They broke off. Yeah, and went to go yeah, play we're games. split okay. the party, baby. Uh-huh. Jackson, Dareem run off to the games, and Heppen <laughs> and Van are making their way um, around the Coliseum now, w- walking that way. Right? Should we, should we take the thing Wait, yeah, to yeah, know yeah, where so we're like, going? Before, yeah, we're, we're gonna go ahead and grab. <clears throat> Hold on. If you're leaving, leave the artifact with us. Um, all right then. Here. Be careful with it. I hand the artifact to uh, to Van. Sweet. Cool. Uh, yeah, we're going to play games. Bye. <laughs> Jax, <laughs> like a child, <laughs> runs off to the game section. Um, we'll stay I with Heppen and Van right now. Okay. I'm going to put the thing, I'm going to mimic what I've seen him do, put it up yeah. to my ear and see what happens. As you start focusing on it, six seconds go by, 12 seconds go by, and from this position, um, pointing forward towards the north gate. Um, You can't really see it based off of the... There are, like, too many tents and coliseums in front of you, right? But there seems to be, like, a cresting, like, some sort of, like, 20-foot tunnel, like, on that side, on the opposite side of the entire circus area, that it it leads the same way. Yeah. Okay. So if y'all entered in from the south, it is pointing north. Okay. Well, you want to go? Is, where's it saying? Are you listening to it? Does it like talk to you? It's pointing. It's pointing me north to the next tunnel. But I don't know. I feel something feels wrong about leaving them on their own. <sighs> yeah, but they're just playing. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. Why don't you keep an eye on them and I'll go look ahead. I'll come back. What if... And then just leave you on your own? I won't go far. Yeah, but what if something happens to you? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. You, but I am gonna worry about you. You're not made of metal. I'd assume you're squishy, and if you're squishy, you can die. Trust me. I will be fine. Just keep an eye on them for me. Please. Okay, but like, if... Okay, so I don't trust you because I just met you. So like, also, there's this whole thing that you're running away with this thing that Sarah, like, put us on this whole mission to find and you're just running away with it. So like, I don't, I don't want you to die and I don't want you to steal it. So like, maybe, maybe that means we have to go play games too. Do you trust Sarah? I mean... Do you think Tricera would put you with someone that you couldn't trust? I don't know. Maybe my mission to save the world was to save it from all of you. I don't know yet. (laughs) I could be the evil one. You could be, like, (laughs) saving the world from me. (sighs) Count to twelve. Twelve? Count to twelve. Do twelves exist in this number system? He says count to uh, uh, one stack tad four is uh, what he said. That's exactly what I said. But yeah, he so we're speaking English, and it's Mm -hmm. so much easier. Like the game of D (laughs) and D is based off of English. You know, Uh-oh. base ten. Like, it's been, like I we like like the rules of the object are based off of rounds of combat, right? So two rounds of combat. So yeah, he 
he's he while he may and Karth have said this, yeah. he he could also have like in English it translates to count to twelve, which is just fine. Because most definitely, uh this is definitely what I did. <laughs> I totally yeah. did that. Yeah. He says twelve and you got it. For okay. sure. Okay, okay, okay. If us sweet little humies were listening to this in English, that's <laughs> the equivalent of Numbers aren't really my thing. <laughs> While she's doing that, I'm going to go down on all fours with focus on the direction that it set me in, and I'm going to dash as quickly as I can in that direction. Okay. And I want to get as far as I can in the span of whatever 12 seconds would be. <laughs> okay. First six seconds. <clears throat> Oh what's uh what's uh okay <laughs> um let me open up some stats <laughs> if we're I going think... by you know dash action we are you also get a dash act oh my god <laughs> i'm pretty uh, sure Jesus you Christ. can go pretty far <laughs> <laughs> as a beast bunny man yeah. well, let's let's work oh, this no. let's work this through yeah, um, yeah. Because like, because I'm a Ronar, I have keep the pace, right? Yeah. Mm. Which allows yeah. me to move at double my speed till the end of my turn. One time. One yeah. time. And then you must spend the next right turn not moving to do the, the right. exact same thing again. But I want to combine that with a dash. Can I do that? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, he is oh. looking it. Oh, oh, yeah, this homebrew um, stuff that I made. Uh, oh. um, when you move on your turn in combat, you can double your speed until the end of the turn. Once you use this trait, you can't use it again until you move zero feet on one of your turns. Um, so it means you can move the next turn. You just can't use it again until you move zero feet. Okay, so the first six seconds, uh, you have a walking speed. God damn. <laughs> As no, a let, monk let know, let and a you have a walking speed of 45 feet. Yes, I do. <laughs> That's pretty good. You get to take a dash action, which means you double that. So mm -hmm, we are mm -hmm. at 90. 90. With keep the pace... You get to move 180 feet in six seconds? <laughs> That's what I made? <laughs> How do you say busted? Listen, no, if everyone's busted, you don't have to breathe. So, like, you know, if everyone's busted. <laughs> hey, 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 look, man, I'm not talking about me, all right? <laughs> you're right, you're right. This is literally Van's thing, for sure. <laughs> um... Okay, so do you want to describe moving 180 feet in six seconds? I mean, anime. <laughs> I... You, wait, are you are you the light <laughs> the lighting dude from? What's Tinsley? the speed of sound? <laughs> we break the sound oh, what barrier. The in... <laughs> what, what happens? No, what happens is you know he Hep is telling me all this, giving me great reasonings for why we shouldn't split up. Both fists are going into the dirt. As yeah. my hind legs get prepped, and then I am just going to run leap that distance very, very quickly, going parkouring over everything in my way to get okay. as close to where this thing is pointing me as possible. So 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I'm literally counting the squares on the map. Um, 100... Okay, you cover to the wall <laughs> in six seconds. So basically, have, what you see is he says, um, count, count to 12. to 12. Yeah. He bends over, and I don't know if you've, anyone's ever watched One Piece, but when Luffy goes gear second and yeah. his muscles start <laughs> like, like tensing up, he starts contracting his muscles, uh, pulling back into the... Uh, back into the stance of like a sprinter's bunny stance <laughs> and then you are mid-sentence and he <laughs> flies off in the distance and is gone. Van, I would like you to make a dexterity uh, an athletics check for me. Cool. 
as because in front of you, basically, <clears throat> are you going to the right or the left of the Coliseum? Um, the little fight pit area. That's in the middle here? Yeah. Um, let's say we'll go we'll go to the I'm looking you're looking forward at it right I'm going to the right I'm going to the right if cool. that means like you know hopping on top of some stuff cool say love you yeah yeah um, though there are crates there's a gate you can go through you said but there are definitely crates and uh, athletics, athletics or acrobatics athletics uh, uh 21 total then uh ac- it would be an acrobatics acrobatics dex- would dexterity. be okay then that would be 20 What's eight? What's six plus eighteen? Twenty-four. Via twenty-four. Yep. Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Deftly, in a moment, Van disappears in a smoke cloud, almost like Wiley e. Coyote. <laughs> Count to twelve. <laughs> and just, just whoo, whoo, leaping, front flipping past, over tents, over tables, over a gate. Van is just gone into the distance in that six seconds. Mm. If you would have an action, I guess, you could go 60 feet. Wait, what's your flying speed? What's your um, walking speed? Or what's your speed? Can I? Yeah, I mean, if you want to attempt to do something, I do say, Van, uh, How think about that for a second. How far does my um, blinding light go? Uh, five feet in front of you. Okay. It is the next square over. Damn. Um, yeah. All right, I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> Real quick, Van, as you are hopping and leaping over tables, mm-hmm. you run right past... If you look at the map on the bottom left of the circle, there's a little tent with like a water thing next to it and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Standing there is a five foot four metal man that you can see through his joints, his head. He has no clothes on, His on, but on his head rests a large, like, three musketeers, like, tri-pointed hat. And okay. he stands, He just he's just standing there by the Coliseum, and as you leap past, you slow-mo catch his eye, as he catches your eye, and as he sees you, he just kind of gives a... like... Eyes start squinting and his head tilts as, what the fuck? As you just, poof, like, and you're gone. And now we will try and do this one at a time because now we have split the splitting of the party. So, <laughs> Van, you have gone off to the wall. Mm-hmm. We're now back with Heppen. Um, Heppen's just going to, like, look at the cloud of dust and be like, oh, okay, cool, cool, dope, dope. <laughs> right on. Cool, cool, <laughs> sick, right. sick, 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 <laughs> awesome. Um, uh, I'm gonna like look around. What's like yeah. the closest thing to me? Um, so you're hovering what five feet in the air? Yeah, you're or, kind of yeah. in that little open area right before you can choose to go anywhere, right? On the left side of the map, yeah, there's like that golden, there's the red tent, the blue tent, and the golden gate, and then that little open area. That's kind of where you walked into. Jax and Van, or Jax and Dream have gone off into the prize section, which mm-hmm. is the top left. And bottom left of the map, off to your right, is the food court section. And it's like food trucks of all different shapes and smells and sizes, except tents over there mm-hmm. in front of you. Um, is the Coliseum and standing behind a uh, standing behind like a, a a little like wooden table is this like bronze metal man who just is like dazed and looking off over his shoulder hmm. off in the direction Van just ran and then the prize section is off to your left they're all kind of equidistant like mm-hmm. they're all kind of you can choose there is also in theory up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You said that we were, are we actually in a glass dome? So, if you look up, it looks like you are surrounded by a gigantic glass dome. Cool. Um, you are in a yeah, I'm gonna go up and see what area. I see. What are, cool. If I go all the way up. Going all the way up? Mm-hmm. Um, all the way up. I wanna go so, up. And then, yeah, go ahead and make a perception check. Cool. 
F. I need to burn all of my dice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Uh, it's a eight. An eight. So from above, you now get this top-down view of, like, the map that I sent you, right? <laughs> um, the only You see everything that I've given you. With an eight, the only thing you can discern from this area, as you fly up into the sky almost, you go to the, the to the dome and the dome is thick like 50 foot glass like it is a mm -hmm. thick dome leading from this area into the outside world you can like knock on it it's very thick um from this vantage point you don't really notice anything new about the fairgrounds carnival area but you do notice um well you see yet again there are these five gigantic orbs set into the dome, right? Hmm. So you have the ground area that the carnival's on, then the dome comes up, and about halfway between the carnival area where it stops and the dome very top center, there is a ring of five orbs that are inlaid into the dorm, that are uh, into the dome that are all sparkling off a, a certain uh, like energy off of them, seem to be working. Mm -hmm. um, and then off in the distance, you do see a ladder that goes all the way up into the, into the dome ceiling. Gimme, let's go to that ladder. <laughs> you just look at it, and yeah. you're like, ah. yeah. <laughs> and you, you zip off. Uh -huh. Jax and Dareem. <laughs> you run into the prize section. As you walk into the game zone, the first thing you see is a tall pole that stretches 50 feet into the air. The pole has a bell on top of it and a hammer on the bottom. To the side, a booth sits with daggers sticking out, dagger handles poking out of a fancy inlaid countertop. Dragons swirl like targets in the tent beyond it, ready to be thrown at and pierced. And looming tall both over both of them is a big tent that its opening flap is just like flapping in the wind. And above it, a sign reads, Powder Room, the greatest prize of all. Um, the sign on the pole with the hammer is uh, Stop Hammer Time. <laughs> and the dagger throw area is, really? No reactions? Nothing? I'm no, laughing. That was so you're dumb. Really well, that's, that's, it's so dumb. I can't, you're so in character. You're just like, that's not funny to me. I got that was so from you. stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. You gotta be honest, that was hella focused. Y'all ready for tragic parties, baby? <laughs> um, and then uh, the dagger throwing area is break called Breaking the God War. And then the other, the last, the tent with the, says, uh, win the greatest prize, says the mysterious powder room. What would you like to try first? What's the greatest prize? That sounds cool. As you say that, you hear, hello. And over your shoulder, yeah. in the like, yeah, standing literally over your shoulder, Dream and Jax, standing in flowing robes of different colors with a gigantic oversized billowing sun hat a golden-skinned Toth, or an elf, is adorned from head to toe in this beautiful regal outfit with, she stands there, her hands covered by like her robes, right? Like hand to hand, robe to robe. And mm. she smiles at you, eyes wide, and is, hello, did you have a question? I can answer <gasps> your questions. And she just kind of bobs her head back and forth with her gigantic hat just like, does she blink? Um, she, you kind of stare at her. I kind of like just block eyes. And she stares at you? Mm-hmm. What's your name? Kestra. She has not blinked oh. yet. Oh. Jax is like, oh, I'm, I'm Jax. Hello, it's Jax. nice to meet you. It is nice yeah. to meet you too. I am here for to... It's really hard to... Oh, nope, she blinked. Okay, she blinked. I was seeing how far <laughs> I could go without blinking. Uh, I was trying to look at my notes and stare down the camera at the same time, and it was not, wor it was not working. Um, she says her name is Kestra, and I am here to guide you around this sweet prize area. You will see over here, there are prizes to be won. And she 
uh, points over with a robed hand over to the side, and there is a, uh, a scrawl that is just on like a big board that says um, the, uh, the prize tickets that you can win. Step right up, try your hand, whether it's dagger throws or hammer time, you can win actual prizes from the wasted world, from the world of Karth, magic uh, can be yours. There are small prizes, good prizes, great prizes, and a grand prize. And the, yeah, the, that's what the, the thing that she points at says. What kind of prize would you, would you like, Jax? I mean, the grand prize, that sounds cool. If you are looking oh, for yeah. any sort of grand prize, you must survive the powder room or survive a tussle in the Coliseum off held by Blur. Who's Blur? Blur is that creature. And she points at the um, bronzed metal man standing over by the Coliseum all alone. How far off is he? Oh, 100, 120 feet. And he, oh, cool. she like waves, hello. But he does, he just kind of like, he's like looking and you can see him way off in the distance, but he does not wave back. Huh. If oh. we want to fare against, to, to fare against the warrior in the Coliseum, would we be one on one or could we do it together? All Colosseum battles are one on one. That is what they hmm. are. But be rest assured, there is no death in that Colosseum. You will be healed to your fullest potential. But if you lose, you do not get to try again. Uh, what would? Uh huh. Uh, do you um, want to try the powder room? I have no issues with combating in in the Colosseum. Really? I've never fought before. That sounds scary. Hmm. Um. <laughs> I don't know what to do. There's just so many options to pick. I don't really know. Oh, gosh. I have to make a decision. I've never really done that before. Mm. How about I'll try the Coliseum, and if I lose, we can go in the powder room. <gasps> yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, I'm for it. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Sign me up for the Coliseum fight. Make your way over there. I'll be here the whole time. <laughs> like, forever? Until you come back. Or where do you go then? I'm here. Forever? Until you come back. Oh. Okay. Let's go, That Jack. seems lonely. No! Oh. <laughs> You're shaking your head at me. Is that a yes? Do you need help? No! Do you need rescue? No! Whatever. Jax walks away. <laughs> <laughs> you start making your way over to the Coliseum. Van, so in front of you, mm -hmm. as you stop, you have reached the gates that supposedly leave out, uh, lead out of this area. Okay. Currently, these gates are metal, and they are thick, and they are closed. Okay. Can I see anything beyond the gates? No, they are thick metal that have just that are shut off oh, altogether. Like, like sheet metal, yeah. or like yeah, yeah. oh, okay. like big old metal doors, like a twenty foot um, large tunnel that would lead forward uh -huh. is shuttered off completely. Okay, is there is there an above or is it just like the dome and then tunnel? Um, there are there is somewhat of an above. But what I'm at, it is like, uh, just to clarify, what I'm asking is, if I jump really high, can I see what's over this this gate? You can certainly try. All right, I'm gonna try. There are, there's like a building that you could try and like hold on to up there, but it is um, uh, everything like it's kind of caved out, and whatever building was there before has been like fused from this area up into the dome. Like there's mm -hmm. not really um, you can try and hold. At the top, but like it doesn't. It doesn't like look. Cool. Yeah, it goes to dome. Okay. Uh, how? What? How high up is, does the dome go? Like the dome goes hundreds of feet in the air. Hundreds of feet in the air. Okay. Hmm. I think. All right. Yeah. Roughly. So let's say I see all that. Um. 
And now 400 I'm not... feet in the air, something okay. like that. Okay, okay, okay. From its highest point in the middle of it, you know what I mean? Okay. So can I... it go from go where for... I am. Can I? What do I smell? Ooh, make a perception check with advantage, my sweet little beast person. I'm glad I get advantage on this. Um, that is gonna be a wait for it. A twenty-two. Damn. What you smell standing here next to these closed gates? Sweet, tickling sensations and scents of spices, candies, delicious foods the world over that remind you of home. They remind you of the uh, batterman compartments, right? Like like the mess hall itself of home as you're like standing there and sniffing and you look over and just wafting off on the furthest side to you, the closest side of that Coliseum, there seems to be just standing uh, um, basically like food tents, right? Like little food carts uh, that are just open and ready to be grabbed. And tons of food stand there, but beyond this overwhelming scent, you don't really smell much else. Okay. And on my way this way, outside of the one metal person, did I see anyone or cross oh, yeah. paths with anyone? As you leapt past <laughs> them, um, and you re and you ran past the prize tent, that giant tent in the bottom right, the prize tent also had a tall, like six foot one, um, two winged looking gargoyle woman mm -hmm. who's standing there with, um, you just saw a glance of her, but someone in a gigantic uh, frilly, um, like turban almost, right? But like an actual hat, right? Like it's not like, it's got like a short rim, but like mm -hmm. a big old bowl over it. I can and it's like standing, okay. st yeah, standing by, standing behind the. If you had prize tickets to redeem. Got you, but I didn't see. I've only seen workers to clarify. I haven't seen anyone attending the festival, no. have I? No. No. Okay. You do hear as you're listening. You do hear crowds. You right. do hear beyond it. Right. And as you're listening to that that feel of the crowd um, with your 21 um, of your perception check, you start to focus on that crowd a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And because like literally over to your side is, a, is this section that seems to have screaming happy creatures riding these rides. Mm -hmm. But as you try to focus on them a little bit, I would like you to make a Wait for it. <laughs> I would like you to make a wisdom check. Just a flat, add your wisdom modifier wisdom check. 19. Whew! What'd you roll? Uh, 16 plus 3. Damn, brother. I'm rolling good today. Bro, I don't know damn. what's going on. I'm rolling real good. You're standing there, and you're looking at the rides, and some sort of purple energy starts to crowd over your sight. And as you're trying to smell and hear your way through because something's wrong, there are no, you haven't seen people, but your brain keeps tricking you at the edges of your peripheral. There are people here. Yeah. When you think, are there people here? Yeah, there's people here. And as you look over and you focus, you start feeling this creeping feeling sinking in your stomach at like something is tugging at your mind. And with a 19? Yeah. With a 19, you shrug it off. How do you shrug it off? Feeling really weird and feeling this weird sensation in my brain. I'm gonna turn to the gate and just kick it really fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do that. You turn to the gate and you just kick as hard as you can and that sensation is gone in a moment. You, as a <clears throat> note, you do know that this just happened to you. You feel, huh. Something just happened, and you've shrugged it off by doing the old punch yourself in the face <laughs> to make your foot not hurt anymore trick by kicking the by kicking that. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, all around. Yeah, there's just a this thud of metal as you kick it. Um, and so the feeling's gone. Has anything about the environment changed? No. 
Okay. Everything, um, as you try to focus again, Mm -hmm. um, as you're standing there, it's still the same feeling, though you have a, I think you have like a pretty innate distrust of it. Something just happened for sure. Okay. Um, All right. Seeing as this has been probably more than six seconds of stuff, I'm going to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This has probably been like, uh, at this point, like a couple of minutes of of like being at the gate. Yeah. Um, I'm going to head back, not not doing all of the same speed stuff. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna head back to the initial you, starting spot. You literally walk like 80 feet if you just want to. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> that's I. I'm going to head back quickly, gonna, not quite as quickly. Yeah, but I'm gonna yeah. head back quickly. You're to not where, super jet speed, but <laughs> to where Hep was. But I'm gonna be. Okay. I'm gonna try and be a little bit like inconspicuous about it. Like I don't. I'm not trying to be seen by the workers as much. You if I you want. To, I, I would I'd like to go as stealthily as possible. Make if I get seen check. by people, sure. Um, well, so much for the good rolls. Thirteen total. Um, a thirteen. You, I think you can turn to your. Um, if your back is to this north gate, you turn mm-hmm. to your left, and there's that section of crates now. Mm-hmm. Back on, you can just leap and make your try to make your way around the tent or between them like so that because the tent is closed off in the back right Mm -hmm. and you try to make your way as stealthily as you can back to the um, just kind of like weaving through some tents and not going through the main thoroughfare walking area yeah to make it back to where I initially was with Hep yeah Um, Um, but they are not there right (laughs) yeah Hep Hep is Hep is that you are making your way over okay cut to Hep there's a ladder in the sky Oh. I like ladders in the sky. Ladders in the sky are pretty ladders cool. in the sky with glass domes. <laughs> you start <laughs> you start humming that to yourself as you fly yourself up. Hep is just like ladders and that's a that's a cool tune. I should record that someday. That's mine. <laughs> that's definitely my tune. <laughs> um you make your way over to it. It is a from the uh, all the way from the bottom area to the top of the dome, you're about halfway up it, and it leads um, leads up. You wanna? It is a metal ladder that um, has rungs, rungs, rings, rungs, handles. What's the handholds of a ladder? Like kind of rungs? I don't know. It has like <laughs> metal places for someone to, if yeah. they couldn't fly, to climb their way up, oh. and you start making your way up top. I'm gonna look at the ladder and go, huh, and then fly up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you do that. Um, that. As you as you make your way up top, you travel and flying up this monstrous ladder leading up to the sky, overlooking the whole carnival. At the edge, it stops into about a six foot, seven foot, eight foot. I couldn't stop doing it. <laughs> or my little Wayne fans at. Um, you, you, you reach like. Um, it is it, it looks, sorry. Yeah. Six foot, seven foot. I didn't foot, want to break you foot. out of the moment, but I was yeah, sorry. I couldn't man. stop. Yeah. Um, you, you, the ladder leads up into a closed section of the dome that is about seven feet in a square area that um, seems to have a couple latches Hmm. and it's like looking um, like at a safe vault from the bottom now we're here all right I gotta stop the door is metal furnished (laughs) with two handles to grip and twist on and uh, yeah this is what you see did I describe that okay there's a big metal blocking area that leads outside of the dome, apparently. Can I open it? You can certainly try. Yeah. What would you like to do looking at it? You said there's two handles? Yes. I'm assuming they twist. You want to make it, you want to try and invest it? Like, yeah, because you, what is my, 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 uh, from my, my ship days. Yeah, no, what this a, is your thing. What sort of, of metal doors have I seen? Do they remind me of any I want to <laughs> This one is a new type of locking mechanism. Huh. I don't think you've ever seen it. Um, as you kind of like just kind of poke and prod a little bit, twist in these handles, nothing seems to click. Nothing seems to happen. There does seem to be a, sorry, there is like a 
like mm-hmm. there are noise happening as you're twisting the handles, but not like you spin them all the way around. You kind of like play with it for a second. Nothing catches hmm. to where it stops and opens. Um, I want to just like start with one. I want to put my ear mm-hmm. up to it. Sure. Yeah. And then start with one and listen for the the like the ticking noise. And mm-hmm. hear if I can, like, if I'm really quiet, if I can hear it, like, maybe stop. Or if there's, like, a make, difference in the ticking. Make a... We're going to go ahead and start making some... It's like a perception check. I don't even know how to roll. Yeah, make a perception. Um, This is opening a lock. Make a... S- I didn't even think about this. Slide a hand? I don't really know. I think perception for now. Perception? Yeah. Um, okay, well, I rolled a 17. So, Sweet. and I have a plus three, so it's a 20. A natural a 20. 20. All right. So, Hemp, hey. with your perception check, you're kind of listening, right? And you're just, you're moving these around a little bit and testing them. I think one of the first things you noticed is there is no perceivable change to these things at all. As they around, they kind of make the exact same no matter how slow or how fast you do each one. You kind of go between the two. And I think you have seen safe locking mechanisms in your life. And that, you're really, this is, this is one of your things. That's a little weird. That is a little weird. Mm. Maybe whatever these are, aren't necessary. Maybe these aren't the lock. I don't know. Yeah. Is there anything it, else yeah. on it? Like, is there like, start like poking around? Maybe I, I pull at them. Make a, make a, you want to check the whole thing? Yeah. Make an investigation check. Oh, it's a one. I get to use my thing you finally. Do. Hey, I get to use sweet. it. Yeah. Fair fairy luck. <laughs> yep. All right, baby. Re-roll it. I've never been so excited for a one before in my life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, weren't you rolling like twos all last session? Yeah, yeah, I've been yeah, rolling yeah. only like twos and fours. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go, baby. Oh, well, it's another four. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to use my luck and roll again. You're going to use one of your lucks. You have three of them per long rest. Yeah. Nice. Investigation. Investigation. I got 12. Looking over this whole thing, as you are going from like corner to corner, flying around, you with a 12, you do not notice anything to touch, anything to change um, in this little area to open this. Hmm. Is there other areas? Is there like, Um, I'm going to start like investigating the tunnel that I flew up. The, oh, you, you flew through the air like you didn't fly into any tunnels. You're you're over the whole circus, mm-hmm. and the t- and the ladder is yeah. Isn't the um, ladder in like a tunnel? How long is the ladder? No, 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 no. The ladder goes straight oh. to this like stop. So the ladder's still there yeah. though. Um, do the rungs of the ladder twist? You start to make an investigation check. You start twisting the ladder rungs. Um, ten. Um, with the ten, twisting the ladder rung. Looking around and going over, um, it does not twist. But as your hand goes over the front one, I shouldn't have honestly made you made a check because, like, if you start press touching stuff, you there is a noticeable bump hmm. on the very highest ladder rung that is a little recessed. That like it's like a square that's popping out. Hmm. I'ma push it as you. <laughs> The metal door starts to part from the middle. The two handles. I'm going to hold on really tight. Click. um, And it just, it opens as you hold on really tight. And there is a brand new area above you. And there's no wind that comes out. Nothing crazy comes out. Nothing wild, like attacking you or anything. But the door, the doorway above does open around the ladder itself. Hmm. Whoa. Is it and oh, keep going. Does it look the same like through that opening as it did like through the glass? No, no, no. It does not. 
Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna peek Mo. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you just whoa. whoa. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just do like a. Yeah, as you're peeking your head up, Jax and Dareem <laughs> walking oh, yeah. from the game section, now on search of a grand prize, walking over to the Coliseum. Um, I think it is at this point, roughly, that uh, I think I did this right in my head. Uh, Van steps out from behind one of the nearest tents on the south side, right? Mm -hmm. And walks over to, sees you two walking over to the Coliseum to this metal man. I just do like a... He gives you like, a I sup. just give you a, a little what's wave. up wave so Jack's as I'm like uh, yeah, Jack staring at this giant big old wave. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna walk over to them. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Y'all Y'all congregate. Um, uh, right, like, still 20 feet off from the bronzed, uh, mustachioed bronze man. His, literally his metal, you can see as you've gotten closer now, he has this, like, kind of long pointed nose, this, uh, beautiful bronze, intricately laid, twisting, three-point hat, and his eyes are shifting gears, and he has this, uh, mustachio that is curled large around and is also seemingly metal. Like his face is almost like a statue. Is he, does he basically in a way look like Dream? No. No? Okay. Nothing. No, but honestly, you can tell that he's like a, just a created like little, yes. so little, little okay. big, you know. His, his <laughs> neck it isn't surrounded by like flesh. Like you could see like the inner workings that get from, um, muscle group to almost muscle group, but those muscles are just these thin plates of bronze, and you can see at points at the joints, they open up, right? Like, almost like a metal suit of armor. Um, mm -hmm. You can see at points there are working gears inside of it. Okay. Um, Dareem has this, like, really soft crafted finish to his metal folds. Like, okay. if you were looking at both of them, one of them is infinitely better crafted than the other, the bronze one. Just say it. One of them's an Android and one of them's an iPhone. We get it. Dog, we I didn't, I look, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, obviously, yeah. if one of them's an Android, <laughs> then like everybody wants one of them and like the Android's just obviously the better choice overall outside of iMessage, yeah, okay? <laughs> like, it's just not even. Oh, man. man. That's wild. Um. <laughs> yeah, you walk, you walk up. Ha ha ha! You walk up. Ha ha ha! Classic I can draw comedy. on my Note Eight, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna hand him returning the artifact to Dream. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it first me. Oh, sorry. Mm. Um, hmm? I'm sorry. Say one that at one more time. time. Jack says, "Where's Hep?" Van says, "They're waiting for me." I went to see ahead and I found a gate. Hmm. We will, uh, I'm at the moment trying to get Jax a grand prize. Yeah, we can resume yeah, our mission yeah. after I have achieved the goal. Where are you headed? That guy. Apparently we got to beat him in a one-on-one -on -one fight and we can get a grand prize. Sounds cool. I don't know. Maybe you'd like to come too. It's, it's cool. Um, and then looking yeah. over, you see this Coliseum area. Mm -hmm. And above it, it does say win an ultimate prize, win a grand prize. And there is a metal man standing there like this by his little, like, ticket booth almost. To Dream. Can you fight? I think I can fight him. Oh, cool. <laughs> I've never fought before in my life. Um... Honestly, I don't really know what to do. Don't mm. worry. This is my battle. Oh, cool. Confidence. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, where'd Hep go? That is a good question. Um, wait here. I'm going to dash over to <laughs> where <laughs> Hep should be. Yeah, I, I mean, that's... It. Not uh, too know, far, the, right? Yeah, that's 30, 50, 60 can I, feet. Can like, I, all right, let me slightly yeah, write on that. You Would I be able around. to see yeah. where? There is no hep there. Okay. 
Oh. Classic. I feel like I'm going to say that a lot, and I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> There's no F there. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's going to become a thing. And they're yeah, all screwed because none of them can fly. No like, I'm yeah. just like, going to be doing my Hep. sky <laughs> adventures. <laughs> yeah, Hep's going to be rogue. Oh, yeah, good job. I gave the I gave the rogue <laughs> the who was only three fly. foot and a half feet tall the ability to fucking fly. <laughs> You also said that I can move through other people's spaces. No. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Creatures that are larger than you. Uh-huh. So I'm yeah, it's just most creatures. Yeah, which is I'm so. <laughs> yeah, you can like zip zip around them. Um, to the question. That's a great question. <laughs> oh. 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 Cool. Um. Yeah. We'll find him later. Oh, you're um, sure about this? I have a good feeling. The grand prize will be yours. Don't cool. worry. I don't know what that um, means. Ben, there is no death in this Colosseum, and we will be healed at the, at the end of the round. The only thing is, we can't play more than once. Each. Each. Were the rules, yeah. So if I lose, you may go next, if you wish. Well, let's just hope that you don't lose. Alrighty then. Wish me luck. And Both I way, just start before, walking into the Coliseum. Before he goes in, quickly, like, just under a look. Lower so no one else can hear. Specifically, mustache guy who's standing there. Yeah. Be careful. Something is off here, Doreen. Understood. Let him go. Cool. Y'all walk over to the Coliseum. A tall, lithe, like I said before, bronze statue man, um, metal man stands there with a sign next to him for rules, holding a rapier in his hand. As you approach, he, he points to it. And the rules say, fight me for an ultimate prize ticket, 1v1 only. I just walk up to him and I say, I accept your challenge. He nods, tips his hat, and he motions towards the Coliseum. All right. Uh, I'll walk into the Coliseum. Um, cool. As you do that, he does the same thing. And a uh, rapier held in his hand, he holds it up. And almost in an instant... Um, you can hear this like crowd cheer go up all around as like, yeah, yeah. Whoa. And Jax and Van, what are y'all doing? There are seats all around that you can make your way in and watch. That, I, I was going to ask seat. like, yeah, what's, did he instruct us on anything or did he, did they just walk off and we were just left by ourselves? Um, I mean, he just pointed, you know, if you want to fight, you got to fight one V one. And then he kind of like, it's kind of like, there are very open seating, like, mm -hmm. like, Backyard style, like terrace is there, stuff. Is there anyone else in the Coliseum? It's just them two from what you can see. You'd have to go in to get a better view of all the seats because it seems to go downward into okay. a pit, right? Like ground okay. level, like you have to walk up. And Jax is kind of just like dashes down to the very edge, kind of gets a seat and he's just like, yeah, go to Reem! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Follow suit and sit next to Jax wherever we are. Sweet. Um, y'all are standing at the at the stand, edge. And stand next to Jax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just walk up, probably shoulder like hands across your chest, and just okay. Um, and God, the 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 picture of this skull wearing <laughs> bunny man, six foot five, yeah, just and like this like screaming Astro Boy, just yeah. <laughs> Perfection. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, at this Coliseum. Um, you do notice, um, oh, goody, a show. <laughs> and off to the side across the way, Kestra, the one that spoke to Jackson Dream earlier, is now sitting next to the uh, winged gargoyle woman you saw from the prize tent and a third creature. Um, all three of them are now sitting uh, in the top row on the other side watching just with big old beady eyes staring down there. All of them have these large, ridiculous, over just frilly hats on their heads and they're just like <laughs> clapping together. What, 
Quick question. I'm um, sorry. Was one of those people one of the pe- the person that I ran by? You ran by the person who's running the prize tent. Uh huh. That person is sitting in the stands. Yes. Got you. Now is based on how long we've been doing this little portion. Would it be weird that they are here that yeah. quickly? Yeah. You didn't see them get there. You were like, all right, I'm here now. And then you looked over and they were sitting in the stands. Okay. I noticed that. I'm just yes. throwing it out there. Yes. <laughs> Van notices that. I see you. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 And um, as you walk in, Doreem, anything you'd like to say? Uh, the, the bronzed man makes his way to the middle. And he does the old crossing the line in the sand as he steps back and he whips his rapier back, enters into a fighting fencing stance towards you, hand pointed toward, and gives you a hand. And he is saying, listen, bitch, you go first. (laughs) (laughs) Wonderful. That was my question. (laughs) Yeah. And now question for you, Sam. That's me. I see on my bonus actions that I have an Eldritch Cannon, but it is the Flamethrower one. Can I, like, it is, I don't know if I chose that prior or if I can choose which cannon I want to create. Uh, Is this a feature? Uh, Yeah, yeah, it is a feature. Artillerist? Eldritch Cannon, yeah. I can only create one per long rest or use a spell slot to create one. Um, Using wood carvers or smith tools, you can take an action to magically create a small or tiny eldritch cannon in an unoccupied space. When you make the cannon, you pick one. Okay, cool. So On then I'll use my turn. action to create the uh, protector eldritch cannon uh, on my right. Okay. Five feet with next to you? Yes. When you create the cannon, you can determine its appearance and whether it has legs. I want it to have legs. You've definitely done this before. I think... From your chest, um, everybody sees Dream just kind of like flex and his chest falls forward off of him and creates a little workbench, like a metal sheet just falls forward, evened out, right? And he just starts and he starts working together and he (laughs) um, clicks on a little ball that he already has pre-made that he pulls from his pocket as he tosses the ball to the side. Um, The ball legs pop out as it and begins to unfold itself into a little cannon. Um, What what does your cannon look like? For my Phasmo peeps, uh, you know, the what is the parabolic uh, thing? Microphone? Uh, It's like the... So it's like a satellite dish. Oh, like a satellite dish. Maybe it's like the sound thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The things that Um, like, like, it's almost like a big old cone, like satellite dish. Yeah, it's like a huge cone. And essentially that is what this machine is. It is just a a cone with legs that is always going to be facing (laughs) towards me and will always follow me. You can bonus action use your protector to add temp HP. To yourself right now. Oh well, then yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Let me let me do that then. All right, Screw roll that. a d8 mm-hmm. and add your intelligence modifier to it, which is a plus five. I d8. forgot that you have a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from the stands, when his chest opens up and he starts crafting this thing, uh, going to take note of it, then look down over at. Jax. Who's just like, holy crap, that's so cool! (laughs) Can you do that as well? Maybe! (laughs) (laughs) I kind of just, I looked down at my shirt and I'm just like, staring at it real hard, staring at my chest real hard to see if it pops open. Um, It does not pop open. (laughs) (laughs) Um, In in the Coliseum, you have given yourself uh, eight temporary hit points. And uh, that is your turn. Do you want to move at all? Um, no, I'll stay right there and I'll say your turn. So then it is Blur. He he looks at you. His eyes get wide at seeing you create this thing, and he kind of blinks and is, and then he will um try to fuck you up. <laughs> 
he will dash forward to you a uh, rapier out and he will start stabbing directly at you um multi stabbing at with a stab he stabs out does a 22 hit oh yeah that that hits <laughs> he, oh, yeah. definitely he just quickly boom pulls back boom stabs again does a 16 hit uh sorry 14 hit 14 does not hit 14 doesn't hit really no it does not oh my god you metal son of a bitch <laughs> okay <laughs> so he stabs first attack hits the second one goes out and then um he from his left hand he spins it around and his hand opens up splits and um it twists on itself as it replaces itself with a dagger it disappears into his arm and a dagger comes out and he stabs at you with a dagger um oh does an God. 18 hit yeah it does okay yeah. then he has one so first attack with the rapier he did eight damage so that's that temp hp second attack he did well, we got it, baby. <laughs> uh seven damage with the dagger okay. yeah he um, just and then stands up he his the the dagger away back to his hand held out and then gives you the bring it on symbol okay so uh, um he's just like right up in my grill huh? oh yeah he's directly right, at cool. you I guess I just rotate around him to essentially go to his backside. Um, and as I do that, I'll go ahead and there's another question for you. Mm -hmm. um, like, can I use both of my arms as like, I guess, two hand fighting type things or no? Like if I'm trying to do fireball from both arms. You are trying whoa. to cast something? Yeah. What are you trying to cast? Firebolt. Firebolt. Um, yes. So firebolt. A couple things to note. Um, you can only it, it. You can cast it once, and it is an action to cast it once. You can't okay. cast it twice. Okay, cool. I was um, just wondering if I could put it in both arms. Is all you could. But okay. Yeah, you could like flavor it, but like you will only shoot off one of them. It would only do also one. because okay. it is a ranged attack. You have disadvantage on this attack since it's you're like in me right, melee right range with him. I see. Okay. Did I miss anything? No, uh, I don't think so. I was very proud of you. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. Hey, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm doing my best. I yeah. love them rules like you do. Mm -hmm. you well. so, so you can do that and then bonus action try to give yourself HP. You 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 can still make yeah. this firebolt attack. You just will do it at disadvantage. Is, you know, I... You also have... Can I not Thunder do Wave. firebolt, actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You haven't, you haven't done it yet. Can I instead use Tasha's Caustic Brew? Sure. A stream of acid emanates you from a line of 30 feet long and 5 feet wide in a direction you choose. Uh, deck save or be covered in an acid spell for the duration. Sweet. Um, okay, so I just make a deck save. Cool. Is this count as a spell or a magical effect? Yes. This is um, a... Deck save is a saving throw. <laughs> is he making a, a saving throw with advantage? Yes, he is. So uh, I guess Van might have a chance to see this as he as he'll there is a flicker in uh, Jack's countenance, kind of like it almost looks like something opens on his forehead. Get up in that mic. Oh, sorry. It's almost like something opens on his forehead for a moment as he sees. It's almost like he's looking through possibilities, and he he just he just kind of. He just kind of does something. his like head twitches for a second and he doesn't have advantage on his saving throw. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Okay, so flavor wise, really it, quick, how yeah. would he have? Um, how how would he have advantage on it? It is something specific to this character. He has okay, like magic even, resistance, even though I'm behind him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind okay, him, cool. behind Work. him also does not matter in D and D. Doesn't matter. I just really want to use this. Work. So as okay. a clockwork soul sorcerer, <laughs> I can restore balance, and whenever a creature I see within sixty feet of me has advantage or disadvantage on its on a saving throw, I can use my reaction to negate it. Damn. I have no clue that that's even happening. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. So basically what happens is uh, this this creature, his mustache twitches and, a, and his eyebrow just as he like, it, it 
pokes up as he smiles at you, seeing you about to release um, as you concoct on your little board uh, uh, this, like, brew, right? Are you going to, like, throw it at him, or are you trying to spray from your wrist? I was going to put it into my arm and then just... Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> flavor flavor what you do, and we'll do order of or, order of. Okay, stuff. so, yeah. Um, as I get behind him, I uh, I concoct the, the uh, caustic brew yeah. into, like, a little capsule. Uh, my arm opens up and I drop it in there like like a like loading a shotgun <laughs> essentially yes yeah. um, I put that put that in and then I go and then just bam right all over him and this is a evocation spell um so what happened oh damn it I just opened up photoshop and that's not what I wanted to do. I hate it when that happens. I just wanted to it. open a JPEG. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> so basically, as you and you start brewing up this little capsule, you pour some stuff, a powder here, and just and this purple powder just starts energy just swirling off into the air all around it. You cock it into your arm, open up your hand, and out oh, of yeah. it you spray out this stream of acid in this 30-foot line right at him. The metal man looks at you, cocks an eyebrow, and is like, <laughs> and starts to move, but then kind of stumbles a little bit. He still gets to make one deck save because across the arena, this little boy, he stares at this moment, recognizing something is happening, and a flash of energy just <laughs> almost like an eye on his head in a single moment. Bane, you see this as Jax cocks his head and cancels out the advantage that uh, the Metal Man would have. Um, and he, oh my God, he rolled a two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take those. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, you're covered in acid takes 2d4 acid damage at the start of each of its turns. Uh, okay. It has to use an action to get that shit off of it. It you it gets sprayed down as it just sprayed down and the acid's covering over it. Um, nice. That is your action. Uh, and I'll use the bonus action for the temp uh, HP. Sweet. <clears throat> roll a d8. Also yeah. roll 2d4. Oh yeah, 2d4 for the acid damage? Yep. When you cast a spell, does it does it happen or no, is it? I don't think it happens acid. on it. Only a creature covered in the acid takes two d four acid damage at the start of its turns. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I see that now. Um, and what's my intelligence yep. thing? Yet? Five. Uh, that's gonna be ten. For ten the... gain ten HP. Nice. Work. Then uh, it is his turn. Wait, wait. Yeah, it is his turn, and he yeah. <laughs> um, at the start of his turn, he will take. Um, 2d4 plus 2d4 yeah 2d4 acid damage <clears throat> sweet so he takes <clears throat> damage and he as stuff starts sizzling through his bronze skin this acid all over him he then would look at you and um, <clears throat> leap towards you again and start swiping ready first attack um, does a 11 hit? I know it doesn't. No. Second attack. Does a, ooh, tw oh, 19. Does a 25 hit? That'll hit. <laughs> um, That'll and then his hit. dagger swoops out of his other hand, attacking also, all in the same. Does a, damn, does a 12 hit? No. Okay, only one. One rapier pierces you for 12 point, uh, 10 points of damage. All right, well, there's that temp. It's just a temp HP. As he he moves in, stabs, uh, and then as he stabs again and brings in the dagger at the same time, the acid just in his joints enough to make him flinch and just miss the mark on both of those. It's your turn. I will uh, take about 20 steps back. If you mm -hmm. leave his uh, five feet that you're engaged with, he gets an attack of opportunity against you. Okay. Uh, I still stand by it. Oh, God, that's a 19 again. 25. That'll hit. 11 more damage. Oy. Oof. That hurts. As you okay. move away, you do have 30 feet total. Um, He just 
Ching sees the future, like his eyes, his head over, and his eyes uh, go uh, uh, like focus in on you. You can see the gears now turning inside as he's looking at you, and he uh, stabs again. Um, this time, after he stabs and you run off, he kind of looks at his rapier and seeing a dark liquid, but he does not recognize as blood or flesh. He kind of stands up and stares at you as you make your way over and you can finish your turn. I guess I will... I use Firebolt. I'll go ahead and... Okay. And hit Action some... Firebolt. Roll it. All right. Uh, does a nine hit? A nine does not hit. You rolled I a two? It. I did. Damn. Yeah. 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 Should have just, just went for the temp. Uh, that's just your action, bonus action. As long as you're within 60 feet of right, your little right. thing, you can always do that. Yep, you're right. Uh, I'll use the, the temp. Yeah, Give roll a D8, temp. add your temp up. All right, that's another 10. A back to 19, I think. So, I, uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're chilling. He is going to um, <clears throat> mm -hmm. look at you, ready himself and dash forward and bring his shoulder down um, low and he is going to attempt to crash into you with his shoulder. He takes 2d4 acid damage at the start and of his turn. And he does take 2d4 <laughs> acid damage at the start of his turn. Thank you, Jax. <laughs> um, oh my god, another 7. Jax wants to see this thing die. Yeah, right. I want blood. <laughs> So standing there, staring at you, seeing that, like, starting to get a picture of a, wait a second, what is this creature in front of me? Um, I've never seen anything like this. Um, he sees above you. He sees, um, he will run over after taking that acid damage. And um, before he does, sorry, he's going to look around real quick. And he's just going to take a little purview of, he's going to take a little notice of the boy, the big, the big bunny man. Huh. And he will, then he'll look over and he'll see on the stands the three people sitting there and he'll just <laughs> dash forward, rapier at, out, and stab, stab, stab. But, yeah. Uh, the <laughs> first hit, the f <laughs> sorry, the first, the first attack <laughs> is a 19 don't to that. hit. Don't, don't manifest that. <laughs> 19 to hit, meaning it hits. And at yeah, this point, it. you can use your reaction to. I will cast uh, shield. Shield, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How does how does it work? Do how do you shield? I'll do some straight up full metal type stuff. Just kind of clap together. <laughs> okay. And, uh, <laughs> and just kind of like so, I clap together, do like a little circle mo motion. Yeah. And shield is now up. Sweet. So right as he's about to stab into you, um, I think that's probably an abjuration spell. Um, a you you clap your hands and a white um, thin sheet of metal seems to like literally spinning energy creates in the air around you in front of you and it deflects the rapier and that energy falls over your body as you stand there he attacks again a same thing 13 uh, 13 plus 6 which misses then his dagger will come out and uh, 16, which also misses off the shield. Bam. And that's his turn, and he's standing there uh, literally up to your face. He dashed all the way over to you, and he stabbed, 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 but could not get an attack in. Word. Um, I will... He's right in my face, though, Yes, huh? he is, he is re-engaged back <laughs> with you. Would it take an action to, uh, like, I guess, equip my mace? No, you can freehand action pull out a mace. Okay, so yeah, I'll do that. And while I'm up here, I'm just gonna swing right at him with the mace. <laughs> okay, roll an attack right. roll with a mace. Uh, yeah, yeah, that doesn't hit. That's an eight. <laughs> an eight does not hit. Yeah. All right, cool. Bonus action. Uh, I guess. The wait. If I don't use the temp this round, do I keep the temp from last round? Yes. Yeah, the ten. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um but if you don't roll uh you could if you don't roll higher, you keep you keep whatever you have. 
but if you roll higher, you get more. I think okay, that's how so, it works. Oh, oh, okay, so okay, I'll uh, all right. Well, then screw it. I'll that use might the. Might not uh, be how it works. I'll check. I'm gonna say if that's canon, then I will use the uh, the temp. Okay. Uh, eleven. There's just cool. one. Better. You have eleven temp HP. He's going to um. He's gonna take that damage. What he's gonna do? Oh yeah, he's definitely gonna take that damage. <laughs> like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, he takes oh two ones. Takes two oh. points of acid stamp. Acid. Word. A little baby sizzle. <laughs> yeah, a little baby yeah, right. sizzle. Sizzling it's on in. Done As the sizzles on in, he moves forward uh, off to the side and begins swiping your white guardian shield around you now evaporated. First cool. attack is a 17 to hit. And it does. And. I... Oh, my good. Do you want to get hit? You do have... Have you been marking your spell slots? I don't have any more spell slots. You're done, right? You've cast all your spells? No. Yeah. You've cast... Oh, Two. you cast Detect Magic earlier. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, oh, right. okay. The first one hits. Got a damn thing. Um, yeah. Second rapier is a 22. And the dagger well, is a... Out. More than a 22. 22. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. <laughs> so, um, 18 points of damage from 18. stab, stab, stab. Does that not take you down? 15, 16, 17, 18. No, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I am C in black and white, though. <laughs> yeah. You're a 1 HP, I'm right? I'm a little woozy, you know. <laughs> no temp HP, 1 HP, right? Uh, two HP. It should be two. Sweet. Should be two HP. Yeah. <laughs> We're living here. I ain't no bell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's my turn. All right. Yeah. Screw it, man. I'm just going to freaking attack with this mace again, dude. <laughs> okay. This has to hit. That's a 20. A 20? Yeah. That oh, hits. God. Okay. That huh, really scared me there. He seems to react to you swinging down to step out of the way and try to, like, uh, edge dancer flow with his rapier, your thing, out of the way, but it is not enough, um, and it you crash thing. down. How much damage? Oh, he tried to parry me, huh? He did try Let's to literally parry you. Give me something good. Uh, five. Five damage. Yeah, for five, yeah. And I'll do that bonus uh, temp. Okay, roll it. Well, all right, I got six. Okay, acid damage coming in. <laughs> he is, his gears are turning. The acid is sizzling through. You are both looking on your last little legs a so, little bit. Something oh. important to, to note is that uh, Tasha's caustic brew requires concentration. So, he needs, oh. so at the there, so whenever yeah. you take damage yeah. on a spell, you need to roll yeah. a Constitution saving throw to maintain concentration on an effect if it requires it. I forgot Otherwise about that. The, yeah, the spell dissipates. We will do that uh, going forward. Okay. Next time, do you want me to do that right now? No, nah, no, nah, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do. It. I missed it. It's fine. We'll 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 do it going forward. I forgot. Like uh, if Wait, you ever yeah. look at your spells that you use, they have a little C next to them. Like um, you have to hold concentration in a yeah in a, yeah. In a battle sense. Yeah. Um, yep, my bad. He does uh, right now take too. five points of acid damage, um, and he is still standing, barely. He is like <laughs> starting to hunch over. His gears are whirring, and he is looking literally on his last hit. Like if you had gotten four more total <laughs> acid damage out of uh, those two ones, that it would be it. So he's going to just look at you and rapier. First one is a 21. Second one is a natural nah. 20. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. And the last one is a 16 to hit with that last dagger. Um, it still hits, though, because it goes for it, right? Yeah, you can't shield, right? Because you don't have any... So basically nah, what's going to happen he is he's going to, especially Damn. with that natural 20, um, oh. he is going to move around you, and this is way more flavor than anything else, clearly having won good. the battle. He's going to move <laughs> around you, 
Damn. Kick out both your knees. Like, Ugh. kick, kick, put you on your knees. And then, no. like, literally, like, he's just doing a full 360 movement all around you, right? Um, kick out both your knees as he moves behind you uh, and end with you on the ground with the rapier at your throat. Ugh. And the battle is done. It's done. I would like you right. to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, man. Uh, that would be a nat 20, so it goes to 22. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> In this moment, the fun and heat of the battle beating in your peripheral, the sounds of the crowd roaring all around you, you feel this sickness start to tighten in your stomach, taking over your mind, rising the bile up in your throat for just a moment, this taste of like ac uh, acidic um, something as you just... And you can't tell for a moment. You're like, is this the pain? Is this the... No, something else is happening. And you shrug it off. Nothing happened. As the purple started to bleed into your vision a little bit. As you just, big constitution, no sir. And you look up and the fight is over. You hear a cheer from the crowd. Oh! As yes, 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 yes. I liked it. That was good. As the three creatures cheer off in the distance, the metal man is going to give you a nod. Um, he is going to walk you if you if you want to stand up with him. He's going to walk you over to a little seat section that seems to have uh, basically like a bunch of IV ties into it. They don't go in, but like he's going to kind of sit you in a um, hyperbolic sitting time chamber of like sit here for a second and you'll heal back to full. Okay. Yeah, I just kind of do that. I give like a, I don't know, like a I'm okay wave to uh, Jax and yeah. Van. Um, but I'm very winded. I can't really speak. Yeah. Um, I just go and sit, I guess. It is at this point rising into this little room, <laughs> Pepin <laughs> has found a secret. I found the secrets. <laughs> Seeped in shadow, you fly into a semi-dome area lit by purple crystal light of the chandelier overhead. A bed is set into the floor with golden laced purple sheets neatly tucked into the body-sized pillows lining the outside. Along the wall are bits of cloth patterned in red, green, and red in a line right over a picture of a monstrous steel curtain dome with the flag flying high above it, set against a mountain with the words Empire Circus etched underneath. Um, a sprawling map of a tower above it with the words The Endless Throne are blotted in ink across the top. Um, and then next to that, over the bed, is a golden glove set in a picture frame. You know those like thicker picture frames that you can actually like put stuff inside of? A golden glove. This is the room you're standing in. Uh, does it seem like anyone's there? Make a perception check. It is not long. It is a little dome room, 10 feet yeah. across. It's like its own little cubby, right? But yeah, go ahead and make a perception check. Oh, let's go. 19 plus 3, 22. 22. You seem to be the only person in the room. With a 22, on top of these things, there is a trunk against the far wall, kind of like hidden out of view at the edge hmm. of the bed. Let's go take a peek at that trunk. You hover over to the trunk and a big old padlock sits it is like a like a trunk nice rectangle box and a padlock is locked uh and it is locked huh is it ooh i do have thieves tools this is your yeah. i'm a rogue <laughs> yeah you are um <laughs> can i pick it yeah roll a d20 and i think add your dexterity mod plus your proficiency mod what do we got? Oh, 19. Let's go. Total? 
<laughs> 19 no is what I rolled. Oh boy. <laughs> so 24. 24. <laughs> you just like so happy with yourself. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you love this stuff. You just kind of mm, pull out your little thieves tools. Mm, kind of buzz your way over to it and you just start working like a master and without <laughs> even a second you just uh, 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 click and the padlock opens nice inside this chest as you open it up uh, make a dexterity I'm just kidding uh, <laughs> inside this chest I just like to fuck with it you know what I'm saying <laughs> there are a couple items Sitting Ooh. off in the corner, there's a purple crown. Kind of set like an old, like, it's like, kind of like a jester's hat, but it is hmm. wreathed in metal, and it is purple. There is a jester's uniform next to it that seems to be folded up, also regal, but seems to be made for the size of a child. There are books and books stacked from uh, written in some sort of language that you do not recognize. Hmm. And I'm going to paint a picture. Everybody basically speaks the same language on Karth. Mm -hmm. Everybody reads the same language on Karth. I'm not sure you've ever seen this, but scrawled mm -hmm. out, there seems to be pictures on the front of it very similar to the area that you are in right now. Uh, not uh, the area below. Like, it mm. is like circus books, but you don't recognize the language. There also mm. seems to be a purple diamond dagger with a leather-wrapped hilt and um, a bunch of papers that are um, wrapped together. All right, so I'm going to take that dagger. Yeah. You know, put that nice. Put that in my pocket. Is mm -hmm. the jester's hat? Does it happen to be smaller than my wizard's hat? It was made for a child, so yes. So could I put it on under my wizard hat? <laughs> <laughs> so it would go on your head, but because it pops out, right? Because it's like a jester with the tassels that's wreathed in metal. Your hat, what you'd have to like fashion it from the side onto it, but you would like have them both you would have to stack a hat on a hat <laughs> and one hat would be caddy corner <laughs> okay so you, it wouldn't be you would be able to tell yeah okay i'll take the dagger i'll put those papers that are like rolled up also yeah. in my pocket yeah um and then i'm just gonna do like eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger by the toe on the books <laughs> yeah <laughs> and just like <laughs> grab one okay put that in my pocket and then i'll uh Take out some pipers. <laughs> no, okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna leave. <laughs> no, do uh, it. Yeah. Do it. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like you can't. Won. You can't hear me. I'm not. That's there. true. That's me. true. That's true. Uh, no, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna look at them, and I'm so addicted to pipers <laughs> that I true. like. You love I, these things. I can't do it. I can't yeah. do it. So yeah. and I'll just like. I'll like peek. Is there any like secret compartments before I close it? Can I like do like a um, quick like the the only thing left in it? Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't seem to be like this is a pretty thin trunk. Like it doesn't seem to be any places for secret stuff to be. Even as you like trace the outline of it and like try to like look in the seams. The only thing is there is an ornate box uh, mm. also in it, like like gold wreathed and about this big. Sorry, it's wreathed in like red metal. And hmm. um, with the symbol of like a exploding um, piece of energy on top of it. Can I also just take the whole box? Yeah. Dope. Yeah, I'm going to put that all in my little satchel, my yeah. pockets, in my big that. jacket. Mm -hmm. And uh, close it up. Mm -hmm. Put a nice lock on it. Maybe take my like pocket square out and like wipe it down. <laughs> yeah. Make yeah, sure yeah, it's yeah. nice you and undusty. Yeah. yeah, give it you a kinda... good... Pop the padlock back up. Yeah. yeah. Um, then I'll go over and look at the golden glove. There's a golden glove uh, yeah. in a picture case, basically, in a like a shadow box or whatever they're called. Like, like it is a beautiful golden glove. Huh. What is it? Does it say anything? 
Um, it says uh, underneath it in Karth, the nail sparkler. The nail sparkler. Does it look booby trapped? Uh, make a per. Mm, uh, you looking for traps? Yeah. Make an investigation check. Oh, these 19s. Let's go. go. <laughs> Switch around. Um, yeah, except I only have a plus one in investigation, so it's a 20. 20? It does not seem to be trapped. Okay. Um, I'm going to take it out of the, the sure, box. Sure, you pop it off the wall, yeah. and then you open up the back, and you just kind of and you grab that glove. Yeah. Yep, I put that in my other pocket. Yep. Okay, so now I have I have the nail sparkler, I have a dagger, um, I have papers, a book, mm -hmm. don't know which one. Circus book, um, you can write Noth's papers from his box, <laughs> just so I know what they are. Uh, cool. Um, I'm gonna do another once look over, is there anything that I missed? Like, Doesn't look under the bed? Seems to have covered it all pretty well. Okay, dope. I'll uh, put everything back how it's supposed to go. Yeah, yeah. Make a um, slide a hand check as you're just trying to put stuff back into place. Ah, maybe survival? Covering tracks? Make a survival check. I never do those. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, that's a four. So I'm going to yeah. use a, I'm going to use a, use a Second luck. luck point. And re-roll that. Cool, cool, cool. Get a nice re-roll in there, which is a nine. So I guess we're gonna use my ten total okay. and do. With the ten, you feel like you did a pretty good yeah. job. You know, you're not trying to take too long. Um, mm -mm. You. I didn't do too much to mess it up. You, you can't know? hide the fact that there's clearly yeah. not a golden glove where there was one, but it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you uh, cool. take the crown or the jester stuff in there? No. No. I left no? the okay. crown in the jester's uniform. Um, sweet. Um, yeah. Then um, that there doesn't seem to be any other entrances or exits. There's only the one way. Mm-hmm. Cool. I'm going to go go back. I'm going to peek down, and I'm going to go, like, where I can peek my head down first so I can cool. see if anyone can see me. You peek over? And there seems to be some raucous cheering and fun times happening at the Coliseum in the middle. But other cool. than that, it doesn't seem like anyone is like looking at you that you can see. Hmm. Dope. I'm going to close up the door like it's yep. supposed to be. Make yep. sure the little thing button on the back of the handle mm -hmm. like You click it again out. and it recloses itself. Yep. Cool. Resets. I'm going to make making my way downtown from <laughs> yeah. the glass yeah. dome yeah. secret yeah. room that I yeah. found there. Yeah, you do. It's really a shame that I'm not a bard. I think Hep secretly wants to be a bard. Multi-class, baby. Multi-class. Bard rogue. Sweet. As you make your way over, it's actually kind of at this time that you're flying down and um, Dareem is sitting in the corner of the Coliseum. He is, like, healing himself, and you are all... You fly uh, as we cut back. Uh, you see Hepin fly down. Maybe you like fly around the call seam and enter in the front or you can just fly down. It's up to you. I don't really care. Um, That's can whatever I Hep would do. fly to the the can I okay, can I actually fly to the Ferris wheel and yeah. into one of like the baskets at the top of the Ferris wheel? Yeah. And you then do ride that. down <laughs> and then like just walk to them from the Ferris wheel? So you um happy with yourself? Floating yeah. through the air, just kind of tiptoeing as you do, you know, that hep and the pep and the step. Uh, hep flies their way into the Ferris wheel and takes a sweet little ride. Make a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh, great. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Dope. Glad that's a four <laughs> plus um, one. As you uh, land in the Ferris wheel, as it crests over, um, riding down from the little trolley, you just sit there, peanut butter coursing through your sweet little veins. You're so happy at the things that you have accomplished. Purple and the sound of cheering, the sound of happiness, 
starts to take over, washing over you. Um, this ride is one of the coolest things you've ever done. We've never done anything like this cool ride. You love this ride. This ride was great. And as it finishes, you hop out and you walk your way over to the uh, Coliseum. Cool. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> But I really thought that had more, <laughs> more going for it. Megan hates that. <laughs> but this is what happened to happen, yes. <laughs> Don't, just had right. a, a grand time. <laughs> um, it is at um, this point as you're walking over. Um, yeah, you guys are back together. Hey, friends. I told you to wait. You told me to count to 12 when I said I was bad at numbers. <laughs> Ferris wheel looked amazing. Have to tell you, it was like better than any peanut butter I've ever had in my life. And as they say that, they kind of look over their shoulder and on their neck, where there was nothing before, a purple engraved smiley face sits like stamped across their neck, burnt into their skin. On Heppen? Yeah, on Hep. And that's uh. where we'll pick up next time. Ah. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Find out what happens <laughs> nice. next time. Jax has got plans. Jax just got Jax. all this shit, and now I'm brainwashed by the purple monster. Oh, this is a fun angle. Oh, hello. Yeah, sorry. Ooh. Just trying to get it to uh, uh, unable uh. to rotate. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this so is dumb. the outtakes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're gonna Whee! finesse it then if it's unable to freaking rotate <laughs> since it's recording. No, just rotate Whee! your entire room. Yeah, rotate just your body. Whoop. Lay on your side. <laughs> yeah. That's something like that. <laughs> God, why did it need to do that? Come on. You know it's going to switch back right as you get this. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. the fridge. I'm sorry. i got to put everything in place. Got to make sure it's plugged yeah. in. You have created. It's all good. Ah, ah, ah.